Welcome to another video. In this video, we will find binomial and Poisson distributions in Excel 2016 Office 365. We're going to start with the binomial distribution first, and we're going to go over briefly a description of what's the binomial distribution and its characteristics and the formula. So the binomial distribution is probability distribution, it's a discrete probability distribution that results from doing a binomial experiment. Binomial means we have only two outcomes in the experiment. So the properties for it is we're going to be doing it fixed number of trials represented as n. So we're going to do let's say 15 trials and we're going to see probability of getting 7 out of 15 or 6 out of 14 and so on. An outcome on each trial is classified into one of two mutually exclusive categories, either a success, which is what we're looking for, or a failure. The random variable here counts the number of success in a fixed number of trials. So if we're looking for 7 out of 15, that means x is 7, which is the number of success in our trials. The probability of success and failure stays the same for each trial, which means what? It means that the trials are independent. So the outcome of the first trial does not change or affect the outcome, the probability of the other trials. Probability of success is denoted by P and probability of failure by Q. And since we have only two outcomes and they're mutually exclusive, that means one of them is the one minus the other or P plus Q should give us 1 or 100%. So if you were using the formula, this is the formula for probability of X. Probability of, let's say, X equal 2. Then we're looking at NCX, the combination, 2 out of how many outcomes we have. Probability of success to the power of X. Probability of failure to the power N minus X. And the combination NCX means it's N factorial over N minus X factorial times X factorial. But we won't be using the formula today. We'll be using the Excel function binomial distribution. So let's look at this example over here. It says here that according to the American Academy of Cosmetic Dentistry, 72% of adults believe that an unattractive smile hurts career success. Suppose that 25 adults are randomly selected. 25 adults means what? This is our N. We're going to find the probability of at most 20 of them would agree with the claim. At most 20 means we're looking at probability of x less than or equal 20. So that's for part A. Excel has a function called the binomial distribution. Similar to other videos, there are different methods to get the function. We're going to get it from here, which is the easiest. And we're going to choose stats. And we're going to go to binomial and you can see that we have the binomial distribution function let's click on it and see what does it give us first it asks us for the number of successful trial then the number of trials is the number of independent trials probability of success and if you want it cumulative cumulative means what do you want to count from zero up to the value you want or you want exactly the value so if we're looking for probability of exactly 20 of them we're going to say for the cumulative that we don't want it which means we're going to choose false and if we want at most 20 as in our case here which means we want to count from zero all the way to 20 then we're going to put true so in our example we're looking at at most 20. The number of trials 
which is N25. Probability of success is 72%, which means 0 0.72. And here, we want it cumulative, so we're going to choose true. The minute we do that, it gives you right away the probability of having at most 20 out of the 25 saying that, yes, an attractive smile hurts got you success. Once you press OK, and you will have the value over here. Now, for part B, it says exactly 13 of them. Exactly 13 means I want x equal 13. So using the binomial function, we're going to repeat the same thing. But this time we're going to choose 13. This is still 25. And this is still 0 0.72. But since I want exactly 13, I don't want at most 13 or 13 or less, then here I will choose false. Press OK. And we have the probability. The third part is a little bit tricky because we're looking for the probability that 15 or more of them would agree with the claim. So 15 or more, we're looking at greater than or equal 15. Remember that the binomial function doesn't give me 15 or more. Either it gives me exactly 15 or 15 or less. So what's the probability that 15 or more? By using the complement rule, I can take it as 1 minus the probability of 14 or less. So if I take 1 minus probability of less than 14, it's going to give me 15 and more. If I'm looking at more than 15, so not for 15 or more, which means 15 is not included, then I will take 1 minus probability of x less than or equal 15. But here we want 15 or more. So we're going to come back over here, and we're going to say we're looking at 1 minus, and I'm going to start typing binomial. And you see it tells you what we want, number of S, so I'm going to choose 14. We have 25 trials. Probability is 0 0.72. And the minute you press comma, it's going to tell you do you want true or false. We want the cumulative reward because this will give us up to 14. When we take 1 minus that, we'll get 15 or more. The minute we press enter, we will get the answer. So this is the probability of 14, sorry, 15 or more. And this way we covered the three different cases of finding binomial distribution. If you're looking at at most or 20 or less, less than 20, then we have to use the binomial distribution as it is with true for cumulative. If we're looking for an exact value, we put false for the cumulative. And we're looking for 15 or more, or more than, or greater than. Then we have to do 1 minus the previous one to get the value. Now, we're going to look at the Poisson distribution, which is also a discrete probability distribution, but it satisfies the following condition. It has a couple of conditions. The experiment consists of counting the number of times x occurs in a given interval. So here we're not looking at fixed number of trials. We're looking at interval. The interval can be interval of time, let's say three times per day, per week, per hour, per minute. Could be area, could be volume could be any interval. 
the probability of the event occurring is the same for each trial. So the probability also doesn't change for each trial. The number of occurrences in one interval is independent of the number of occurrences on the other interval. Same idea. One is independent of the other. The formula for Poisson distribution is a little bit different. It's the mean to the power of x times e, which is the Euler number, 2.71, power minus mu over x factorial. So now we're going to go and look at this example. The number of accidents that occur at the busy intersection is Poisson distributed with a mean of 3.5 per week. So the most important here is that this mean is per week, which means if they ask us per day, per hour, per month, we have to change the mean or we have to find the corresponding mean. Find the probability of the following events. No accidents in one week. No accident means zero. So first, we're going to go to the four functions, but this time we're going to look for Poisson distribution. Click OK. And it's going to ask you basically for three things. X, the mean, and if you want it, cumulative. So the same idea here. X says how many trials you want or outcomes. Here we have no accident means X is zero. The mean, 3.5. And we want no accidents in one week, so zero. Here it doesn't matter if we put false or two because it's going to give us zero or less. Press OK, and this is the probability. Four or less accidents in one week. I'm going to repeat the same thing. So here we want four or less. The mean is still 3.5, and the cumulative, we want it true. This is four or less. Five or more accidents. So similar to the binomial, here we're going to take one minus four or less. Because five or more, the complement of that is one minus four or less. So since we already found four or less, I will take one minus that. And it will give me the answer. For part D, it says one accident today. So today means what? The mean is per week. We have to find the mean per day. We're going to take the mean and divide it by seven days per week, which means this is the mean per day. We're going to go to the Poisson. And we're going to choose 1 because it's one accident today. But the mean, we're going to enter it as 0 0.5, not 3.5, because this is the mean per day. And the same idea, we want exactly 1. So we're going to choose false for cumulative. And this would be the final answer. So I hope this gives you a bit of explanation of how to do binomial and Poisson distribution. Don't forget to look for other videos uh, on the continuous probability distribution or the normal distribution. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos on the channel.